someone who finds the idea of being alone very uncomfortable? Or are you someone who's maybe scared to be alone because you've only ever been around other people? This video will be a guide on how to love being alone, how to really enjoy your own company. In this video, I'm going to break down for you simple steps on how you can start loving your own company. From doing these steps myself, I've noticed that I actually love being alone. In some ways, I enjoy being alone than I enjoy being with other people, which might be slightly shameful. But once you get to that point where you truly love yourself and you love your own company, and you truly get to know yourself, that is when all of the opportunities will come to you. So grab a snack because I'm going to help you really love your alone time. Firstly, you need to stop comparing yourself to the people around you because you don't know what their lives are like behind closed doors. All of us are on separate journeys and what is meant for you will come when you're ready to receive it. Now, I know I'm one to talk on this, but honestly, step away from your social media apps. You need to understand that what you see on social media is not a reflection of you or where you're at in life. Stop worrying about this person's over here and I'm just over here. Like what's meant for you will come to you. What you need to focus on is making this present moment count. So another important step is solo dating. I absolutely love solo dates. On my day off when I'm not working, I absolutely love taking myself here, there and everywhere. It not only helps you get to know yourself, but it almost makes you like so much more confident and independent. I'm not worrying about when, for example, Tiffany is free for a coffee or something, because I'll just take myself. I don't need somebody else to go with me. A solo date can be as simple as, say, going to your local cafe and grabbing a coffee, or just taking yourself out for a nice walk along nature. Start small and you'll notice it will get easier. But while you're on these solo dates, really just put your phone away and invest that time in getting to know yourself, getting to know what you like and what you enjoy doing and what you're passionate about. Think about all of that attention and affection that you would give somebody else if you was on a date with them and put that and turn that all around on you. By going on these solo dates, you're going to be far less attached to other people and you won't rely on them anymore because you have yourself. Exercise, exercise, exercise. Join your local gym, start an at-home workout or even go out walking. Exercising is so amazing for your mental health and is scientifically proven to make you happier. Starting a hobby is also very beneficial because, I mean, you could start painting, you could start reading and you could start writing. And by that, you're not only doing something that's going to make you feel fulfilled, but you're also going to learn something at the same time, which is very, very impressive. Practice gratitude, okay? Start journaling. Write down at least five things every day that you're grateful for. It doesn't matter how minuscule they are, how silly they might seem. This is just for you. And this will really help you realise that your life is amazing and life is a gift. It will really just help you rewire your mind to see things more positively. So me being the foodie I am, my favourite one on this list is cooking yourself an absolutely amazing meal. This in itself is an act of self-love because you're feeding your body the things that it loves, but you're also keeping yourself occupied at the same time, which is a win-win. And I truly believe that the deal breaker was for me setting goals and manifesting. I mean, where do you want to be in five to 10 years? You know, write this down and just really, really think about it. When you're writing this down, write it in present tense and just really believe that it's yours. Remember that every day is one step closer to your dream life. This is not a time for giving up. So yeah, we've reached the end of the video now. Like and subscribe and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.